what is happening right now is pride organizations are canceling events all over Florida due to climate of fear after state <coughs> passes anti-LGBTQ laws. This is an insider story. Pride events in Florida are being canceled due to the law and organizations. Organizers on St. Cloud canceled their events, citing the unsafe environment created by recent uh, laws targeting the LGBTQ community. The decision followed the signing of a bill by Governor Ron DeSantis that imposes penalties on businesses allowing children to witness adult life performances with potentially sexually explicit content. Other Pride events in Tampa, St. Lu- uh, Port St. Lucie, and uh, Lake County have also been canceled due to concerns over this. Uh, MSNBC guest claims Florida is about to be a terrorist state for black and LGBTQ people. This is a media story. Democratic strategist Aisha C. Mills appeared on MSNBC Deadline and uh, claimed that Florida is about to be a terrorist state for black and LGBTQ people, praising the NAACP's travel advisory as extremely clever. Mills expressed her personal discomfort as a lesbian and a black woman, stating that she does not want to have anything to do with Florida and believes that many... Others feel the same way. She commented, uh, she commended the NAACP for issuing the advisory and thanked them for their broad guidance. And the rep- uh, representative Brian Donalds criticized the travel advisory as stupid and without basis, while Fox News contributor Geraldo Rivera dismissed it as a fear mongering publicity stunt. So, how much of this, what they're doing, are they trying to? You know, they're realizing DeSantis is potentially going to be who he's going to be, and they're trying to target him. What What do you think is, and can they actually make Florida terrorist states? What do you think about these two stories? It, well, it's ridiculous. <laughs> look, it, you know, am, am I allowed to, like, what's the language barrier for you on can this go, thing? Okay, look, number one, like, I'm a black gay dude, um, and Aisha Mills is full of shit. Yeah. All right? She's full of shit. And what's going on here, you have to understand, there's a lot of different things that's going on. Ron DeSantis is seen as, so I, I think that the left is, is more scared of Ron DeSantis than they are of Donald Trump just because they know how to how to deal with Trump and they're not quite sure how to deal with DeSantis, right? So there's a lot of these this this political stuff that is happening that's sort of trying to make it seem as if Florida is just this apartheid state and and if you are black or gay or both or whatever, then you just live in this constant fear and constant danger. It is completely ridiculous. It, I've been living in Florida for the past three years. I've been living in Miami for the past year. This is a great place. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, gay, straight, whatever. Florida is just a great place to live okay and so what this is all about is the the lgbtqiak plus plus the alphabet people the mm-hmm. rainbow mafia mm-hmm. right i don't i don't identify with any of that stuff like i'm just a gay dude but <laughs> they are they're becoming this sort of um target market for the democrats right yep. they want to make them another victim group like they've made black people a victim group that they've tried to make latinos a victim group they want to make uh, these lgbt people like a victim group for them so in order for them to be a victim group for the left they have to push their propaganda that says that you can't live in florida all of these laws are bad all of this other stuff it is completely ridiculous like it just is not based in reality and when you look at these quote unquote anti lgbtq laws it is again bullshit number one there's no such thing as a trans child and a lot of these laws are basically in laws in florida and other states it's basically saying that we need to pump the brakes on pumping um young kids full of puberty blockers and doing all these experiments that do not have any long-term studies okay that is not anti-lgbt or whatever that is like just pro common sense okay and so look I'm somebody like, I'm a guy like, you know, I watched RuPaul's Drag Race and I went to Drag Brunch and all of that other stuff. It is, and Megan Kelly had said the same thing on her podcast. Yeah, I heard that. It had always been just this fun thing for adults to do. And, and it had. Keyword adults. Adults. To do. Yeah. Adults. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this had never become a thing that was oriented towards children until recently in the past five to seven years. And I'll, I'll say something that got me in a little bit of trouble when I said this um, on, on other outlets. What a lot of people don't realize about the fact that all of this stuff is now being targeted towards kids, the drag queen story hours and in the transitioning of kids, all of this other stuff. What you have to understand is that the radical far left queer theory people. Mm-hmm. OK, that is where all of this stuff comes from. Yep. And the fundamental goal for the queer theory people um, is the normalization of pedophilia. Right. Mm-hmm. So you have to understand that that is where this is all supposed to be headed. That mm-hmm. is their goal. But the idea that Florida is some place that is. Um, a, not a great place, that is not a safe space, that is somewhere that is dangerous for me as a black gay dude is fundamentally ridiculous. It's complete bullshit. And anybody with half a brain 
uh, we'll see the political machinations at play here. Yeah, Rob, I couldn't have said it better. Completely agree with you. By the way, is there anybody that could weigh in on this better than a black gay dude living in Florida? I mean, hello, you couldn't even write this script. Who got his this master's story. from Columbia. Yeah, exactly. So, and, it's, and it's a so, veteran. Yeah. Like, you can't. Yeah, th- this is so nonsensical, hyperbolic, and hi- 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 hypocrisy yeah. at its finest. So I'm not a black gay dude. I'm just an straight white dude but i'll give you uh, i've been living in florida for yeah over 40 I, I years i thought you were going to come out for a second no, i thought, this, 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 is, we're I thought this was like an announcement this isn't that episode this because today's the day of announcement ron right. made the announcement i thought maybe you were going to stay tuned one. for tomorrow's okay, got it. no actually i was going uh, to announce that i was going to announce yeah. that i'm straight on this podcast <laughs> <So>. <laughs> breaking news so we convinced them y'all <laughs> okay you were uh, telling us how so far what i was going to say is i've lived in florida for 40 years and if you know anything about florida uh, Memorial Day weekend, which is this weekend. Yeah. Black people from all over the country come here for summer break. Yeah. Okay. Black We're going to. It used week. to be Atlanta, Freaknik, Freaknik. whatever yeah. it used to be. Freaknik. Pat yeah, yeah, used yeah. to go, you could tell. <laughs> He's like, Freaknik, yeah. <laughs> Been there, done that. Great bookstore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My yeah. type of bookstore. But, but so, I like, how many black people are going to be like, uh, yeah, yeah, all that. Uh, all that uh, LGBT, pride, gay, uh, NAACP come out. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm still going to get my free gun in South Beach. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's so nonsensical. And then last week or last month was Pride Week in Miami. Of course. Zero it, issues. Literally. No problems. It, on Sunday brunch, have you ever been to the on Ocean Drive? Palace. They have the, the pa- Yes. <laughs> Rob, Rob knows it. I mean, you they know. They do the, I, the drag queen stuff. <laughs> so like... <laughs> The narrative is not matching reality. No, it's ridiculous. Is what I'm and let me make a point because you you brought it's, it's really funny that you brought this up. So in literally, and I was going to tweet about this. I was going to do a little video about this. Miami Beach has a Pride event. Yeah. Miami Beach Pride. This is literally subsidized by the Florida government. Yeah. They have all sorts of sponsors there. There were very expensive DJs that were there. Um, there was sponsorships from Delta, American Express. There were police officers there. Yeah. All of that other stuff, completely free to anybody that wanted to go. By the way. Oh, yeah. So Florida is such a terrorist state. Yeah. And, and Ron DeSantis is basically Stalin when it comes to, to gay people. Right. It, it's, it's ridiculous. Like it just does not pass the smell test even for a second. And here's the thing about um, the, the gay and lesbian vote. I don't say LGBTQ and nobody should say LGBTQ because it's like I, it's just it's, it's ridiculous. Like most people we're talking about gays and lesbians here. Right. Um, in the last election, they had found that 30% of gays and lesbians voted for Trump, right? So that's a 70-30 split. I personally Damn. think that it's more because I come across that's gay guys shocking. all the time. At first, when I came out as a conservative gay dude or whatever, at first it's like, you know, you lose all your friends. Everybody's like, oh, you're a pariah, right? But now, like, I go, to, oh, oh, hey, Rob, like, you're that guy, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm that guy. No, now I understand what you're saying. Oh, this trans kid stuff is crazy. All of this, you know, this drag queen stuff is crazy. Why there have to be kids there? All of that other stuff. So gays and lesbians are more conservative than people think, especially, you know, it's like a gay dude that's making 250K plus a year. You think this person is going to be voting for Democrats? Absolutely mm-hmm. not. Why? No, they're thinking about taxes. They're thinking about they're thinking safe about communities. The same, the same thing everybody else everybody is thinking about. Else thinks it's about. identity politics at, oh, at its finest. Absolutely. Oh, you're black well, and, and you're gay. You must words, vote right? Democrat, right? Absolutely. It's bomb words. This is, Geraldo summed it up perfectly. This is a fear-mongering publicity stunt. He was yes. in, out. Geraldo knows media. He's been around a long time. He sees, these are just bomb words. Like when you point at somebody and yell, racist, racist. You know, it's distracting bomb words. And what is interesting, Aisha Mills, who is full of crap as you pointed out she called it oh that was extremely clever she didn't say wow that's an important message to keep people safe that's what you say if you really think there's a problem that's what you say if you think there is really mm-hmm. risk somewhere instead she comes out oh that was very clever to say it that way i thought that was very telling it's like she she unveiled the whole you know lunacy of of the issue look there's a famous poet that once said for those that are wondering whether they should come to Florida or not to have a good time. This famous poet said, get your freak on. Her name is <laughs> Missy Elliott. Okay, so if you're get looking your at coming on. to get Florida to have a good time, get don't worry about on. it. Come on down here. She is right. And for those of you guys that have a family and you want to come down here and get your freak on in a different way with your own spouse, you can move to Fort Lauderdale yeah. or Palm Beach or Boca or Ball Harbor. Right now we're looking at properties all over the place. We're looking at Miami right now because we're wondering yeah. what we're going to be doing with the land that we're going to buy. We're going to buy the land here. Mayor Suarez is a very, very aggressive recruiter 
and he's trying to talk to us about potentially moving by Tim into Miami. But yeah. we're, we're, we're going to see what's going to happen. But, so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.